Allow me to introduce you guys to the Lowland D1 Mini. Legit one of the most amazing microcontrollers that you can use in projects today. Now they come in a lot of different form factors. This for example is an ESP8266. This is an ESP32S2. And this is an ESP32S3. To be more specific, that is the Lowland ESP32S3 Pro. You guys have probably seen these type of devices on AliExpress. They usually don't cost more than $2. And there are a bunch of different neat, easy to build projects like the Spaceman Han Hackheld, for example. Now the Hackheld is typically built with an ESP8266. This Hackheld is running USB Nugget. I had a Nugget, don't have a Nugget anymore. So I put this on a Nugget. This device is open source. It's incredibly easy to build. It's incredibly easy to flash. It's a fun little project. As a matter of fact, this worn out little guy was my first D1 Mini ever that I purchased, I think about two years ago. It still works, but at this point, I just keep them for sentimental value. I've got a ton of D1 Mini S2s, but this video will be focusing on the D1 Mini S3 Pro. Now, if you've seen this guy around, you would notice that there's supposed to be a screen right here. And yes, you would be right. It is supposed to be a screen right there. I had gotten three of these little guys to make a little project with them and two out of the three came with the screen broken. I'll actually be posting a longer video with the photos of everything coming broken, but the one where the screen did work, I was able to get going for about a day. I was able to flash the company logo on it using bits for bots. It was a nice little fun project. But after plugging it back in, the whole board died. This one is not that board. This is one of the boards that's still alive, but it doesn't have a screen. But me, being the autistic sped kid that I am, decided, hey, I have two broken ESP32 S3 Pros. I'm just gonna use them as a donor board and switch over some components, and maybe that'll fix it. I spent maybe an hour switching components, not on this one, the ones I'm talking about are at work, and nothing. It still would not boot. So I switched the components back to the donor board, and what do you know, the donor board still worked, but didn't have a screen. I reached out to Lolan multiple times, sending them all the photos and videos that I had and nothing. They wouldn't reply to me. I kept getting an AI. They absolutely ignored any sort of help. I'll be posting the screenshots later. But in the meantime, the D1 Mini, a fantastic board. The D1 Mini S3 Pro is absolute garbage. Lolan, if you're watching this, replace my three boards and do better, like for real. Do better. I wanted to make this thing into a mini Tamagotchi, damn it.